Hi there, Marina here with Let It Go, Laugh and Leap Forward. I just got back from a presentation I did, my very first two, it turned out to be almost a two hour talk by myself talking about Fast GFT, the mind-body connection, how memories play into this, and introducing tapping and how it all fits together. So that was the outline of my talk. And oh boy! Was I over my head? I have so much work to do on myself. Probably not that much work. I've worked on this for a while, but I thought I have cleared a lot of my anxieties around public speaking, and wow, <laughs> it was quite humbling. First of all, there were 30 people there, which was amazing turnout. It means people are ready to listen. The title of the talk was How to Let Go and Live More in the Now. I didn't even come up with that title. Um, the organizer of the event, the man at this Unitarian church, he just came up with that title. I gave him a synopsis of what I would talk about. So anyway, I had it all in my head. I was all excited. I had this outline. I visualized myself doing well. I was calm. Um, I got nervous this morning, and then I was like, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. This feeling's excitement. And I really just felt like, okay, it's going to be fine. I got there early. All good. And then, as people started trickling in, I gave them this consent form, and I sensed, I don't know, that's when it started. It was very strange what came over me and, and, and the whole feeling. I'm going to tap while I'm feeling this right now, because it just surprised me. You know, this is, again, what a clear indicator how our unconscious mind runs the program, because I thought I cleared issues around public speaking. I've had a few memories that were pretty embarrassing in my life in the past and I've worked on some of these and I guess they're not all gone or I need to find some more and deeper stuff but it was just fascinating because I really went there thinking I'm gonna do great. Uh, I know this stuff. I know what I'm talking about. I've studied this for over two years now and was involved in the seminars and heard it over and over again so it's all in here but I guess there's a different skill involved in public speaking that I just did not anticipate so the first 15-20 minutes I was just flopping I mean it was just hilarious actually how deer in headlights I became I had no idea what I was talking about I had no idea where I was going it was hilarious but then well, two interesting things happened. One, I was tapping inside because I didn't want to introduce tapping right away and I should have just tapped right there. These people, not nobody knew anything about EFT except for one lady. She heard of the original EFT. And then um, I introduced laughter just to help myself and just to lighten the room and lighten myself and everything. I, I did this demo of let's shake hands and just laugh and notice how the body reacts, and so it kind of led into the mind-body connection that way. But boy, was it, it was just amazing. But here's the thing, once I got in the flow and I was able to relax, everything just flowed fine, and people started getting engaged, and, and, and started asking a lot of questions, and it was really good. Overall, it was very, very good. I did it. Huge yay, yay! Did it first time but oh boy was it <laughs> I had some work to do on myself but what was also cool is oh another thing that happened was that I named my fear right there in front of my my audience I just told them wow I'm nervous or wow I am flopping look at me go you know I was trying to make light of it and but really naming my fear and I really think that's what helped me ultimately to snap out of it is just bear it right there in front of them. Just say, you know what? I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. I'm very comfortable in that. Obviously, I'm not comfortable here. I'm going to tell you about how I'm dealing with this. I'm going to show you this myself and as an example. But also, once I got in the flow of it, it was just, it was fun. I enjoy talking and I especially, you know, about these topics... But I especially enjoy when people ask questions because then I know where am I missing, you know, what am I not saying, how is it not flowing. And I got some really good challenging questions too and I just love those. So I know Q&A format's good 
and we did have one demo that was cool and it worked very quickly and it was that one's easy like again the work itself and tapping and how it that is is fine but wow that was definitely a learning experience so I also just thought because I just finished tapping on this a bit I actually got pretty emotional when I got home just the, I needed the relief uh, to let go of tension I've been carrying since I got home. Ah, look, there's motorcycle tension outside too. Ah. It's funny. Anyway, so um, <laughs> I get home, I tap, and I realized while I was tapping, the perspective came that everybody starts somewhere. So that's, you know, already a positive thought from, oh my god, I just mortified myself. Flipping to, okay, well, you know, we're our own worst critic. Everybody starts somewhere. And then the other part is that I think the reason I'm reacting so strongly is because this is really important to me. And sometimes the most important things in life are the hardest. Or it's our biggest challenge. It's like our biggest strength is our biggest weakness. Our biggest strength and what we need to do in our calling is also our biggest challenge so that also came like you know what because first I thought I felt really defeated and I felt like oh no I'm not a public speaker okay well I guess I'll just do these videos I love writing I'll just write definitely do client work because I love that and I'm good at that but oh boy maybe I need to just you know let go of this public speaking fantasy because it's just not who I am let that go, let that go, let that go, because guess what? These opportunities are coming, and they're coming for a reason. Of course, I have a choice to say no, but I just went and gave a free public talk at a local church, and 30 people I don't know showed up, just based on the title. So obviously, people are very ready to hear this. And even if I did, you know, 10 minutes of the information I gave was valuable and they heard that 10 minutes, who knows what benefit that will lead. Whether I get clients out of this or not, it doesn't really matter. Although, of course, I want to help people. But the perception of here we are taking charge and being responsible, responsible for our stress and knowing how to look at things differently, how we are reacting, just that, just that perspective and giving people that different model of the, the world, the thinking that we're doing this, if that little seed is planted, I think that is enough um, to just trickle down and see how it goes. But of course I want to do better next time, and I will be working on this for sure. Now I did record it, I'm not even sure how it recorded. I hope to find some good clips from it, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, I think there were certain blurbs in there that I could probably share, but we'll see. But yay! Did it! And 30 people! I'm pretty sure it was like 30 people. I was counting the chairs and it was at like 28 when I, and I still didn't stop counting. So yeah. All right. Just wanted to share this right after my talk. Thank you for all your support, encouragement. I feel so much love from everywhere, all around, all my friends. Thank you so much. And this is just the first of many. I did have two friends there, also local, who were there supporting me. And they were awesome because they really helped with getting questions going. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Elise. Thank you, Michael, so much for being there and supporting me. And... New year, new beginnings, new ways of sharing. Here I go. All right, have a beautiful day. Love to you all. Bye.